Hey, this is Fish on a Heater with Tournament Takeaway, where we take a look at a set of Pokemon Go battles and break them down to see what we can take from them to bring into the rest of our battles for that month. This is round number three in a, a tournament that we did, a practice knuckle cup that we did on uh, the Jiggly Dad Twitch channel. Um, I'll try and remember to chuck a link in the description uh, to definitely go check that out. And uh, we're against Scientist E, who do not let that ranking fool you. Um, he, he is good. <laughs> um, he knows his stuff. Um, and this is a fascinating team. This is something that I had not really encountered much in uh, in my practice battles so far for Night Nightfall Cup. Uh, first time I've come across a Torterra uh, in game, which Torterra is Torterra is good because um, it will resist both of Galarian Stunfisk's moves, so it's a real nice counter to G Fisk. Um, it's It, it's not gonna. It's a razor leafer that's not gonna be weak to confusion, like the other razor leafers. Um, yeah, and it does all the general razor leafy things. Uh, it does have to watch out a little more for ice though, because uh, it is double weak to ice, and that's the only reason I had been avoiding it. Um, but you know, it looks like. It might still be good. Uh, he's he's got the Articuno there, which is uh, really going to be good against those Razor Leapers that, that we talked about. The Machamp with the uh, Fighting and Rock Slide damage. That's some really nice coverage, and it can really hit back against the Frostlass. Um, neutral damage against you know my Venusaur. Um, can have a bit of a problem against Toxicroak, but yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's got a really interesting team. Let's see how the battles go. Alright, so Frostlass versus Wiggly. Um, we will win this if we shield once, but he switches out into the uh, Stunfist. So I go into the... Venusaur because that's the only option. Obviously, uh, Stunfisk is, is going to crush the Wigglytuff, and I don't want to switch my own Stunfisk into his Stunfisk to try to try and uh, win that mirror matchup because he's got the energy lead now, which which means I have to then win the baiting game to flip that matchup. So he manages to bait me out with the Rock Slide. And then he matches me for shield. So how much does a frenzy plant do to a stun fisk? Forty-two percent damage, and that stun fisk had, yeah, let's say two thirds of its HP left. So it's going to take it low, but definitely won't KO. Um, Interesting that he did. Uh, so it sounds like he wanted to keep on. Play, oh, not sounds like it uh, looks like he wanted to keep on playing that baiting game, which is probably the the reason I can pick that he would shield that. The the best reason I can think of. So I shield again, and he does go for the rock slide. So I was right. He did try want to do the baiting game, and so I, it's I've, I've kind of wasted that shield unnecessarily. Um, on my end, I'm pretty sure I, I, w I was happier to um, use my second shield because um, going 1-0 shields down is a lot better than going 2-0 shields. So the fact that he used a, a shield of his own made me more comfortable using my own. But yeah, it's sh should have really picked that um, he was going to try and go for that uh, that bait again. Because now it's, it's opened me up for the Earthquake to come in. Doesn't KO me. And I go for the farm down, but he gets the rock slide! So, uh, not good. Not good for me. Uh, so, uh, what can I do from here? So, um, having the... It, like, it would take one mud shot from my stun fist to, to KO it. Um, what was that first Pokemon we saw? We, he opened with the Frostlass, didn't he? So, um, having 
one mud shot lead on the frost lasses, uh, so, um, on the stunfish to take on the frost lasses is probably a, a good move. Um, we don't know what that third Pokemon is yet, so uh, we'd love it if it was uh, Pidgeot <laughs> um, or Articuno. Uh, if it's Machamp, then Wigglytuff is fine. Really, the thing that we're, we're the only thing we're truly worried about at this point, I think, would be the Torterra, because. Um, that's that's going to not care at all about the Stunfisk, and uh, I don't think Charm from Wigglytuff is going to quite be enough to outrace the the Razor Leaf. So we uh, we sent out the Wigglytuff. <laughs> Interesting. Why do we think that was? There's the Torterra. I mean, so lucky, <laughs> but then here's the Ice Beam. It's going to be. Uh, shielded and then interestingly we get the frost come out i should have been quicker in switching out to this stun fist here because uh, if i switch out to the stun fist it can take it can tank one avalanche um and then get to a rock slide which will ko um and then or let's see the uh the avalanche will take out uh about 50 percent of the stun fist let's let's see and this versus uh, the last. So, with I think with the powder snows, it's it's getting up to. So the avalanche combined with the powder snows is getting up to about the the fifty percent mark. Um, if we go then, uh, Stunfisk versus the Torterra with. How much HP did that thing have left? Two thirds to three quarters. Let's go three quarters. Yeah, that looks right. Um, in the zero zero, um, we are not taking into account the energy from Razor Leaf right now. Torterra wins that with twenty three HP left. But then, look, we can come back in with the the Wiggly Tough. But it's got such low health that either the Razor Leaf's going to get there first or the uh, the Frost Lice will manage to get to a Powder Snow to KO before we can get in. So, oops, we've already sped up. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the Avalanche comes out. Um, oh yeah, but the, of course in this scenario the Frost Lice would already be gone because I will have taken it out with the Rock Slide. So I, I really needed to, to switch out here. Once once he brought in the frost lass, I needed to switch into Stunfisk. Sand Tomb is enough to KO me. And that is the end of battle number one. Battle number two. Alright, same lead. And he does the exact same thing. And this time I have Stunfist, so I've got a little more Stunfist coverage this time. And I have been so burned by, um, by the amount of damage that charge moves do to this thing that I just tend to automatically shield it. And that's the thing I'm, I'm really looking at here. Gallade, I like Gallade. It's got good coverage. But it's such a shield hog, and in this particular cup, being a shield hog is a big liability to have to deal with. Luckily, it was the earthquake here, so fantastic. Now, let's see if I go for the bait or the close combat. Uh, 
Alright, the fact that, uh... Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> so now I'm two shields down, and I am trying to hit that uh, Leaf Blade button. Um, really playing risky with those charge moves, because <laughs> that's what I should have done before, is just fire it straight away. He shielded that because he wanted to get another uh, charge move off, and luckily... I managed to get mine in before he, like, he, he had that charge move ready, and uh, luckily <laughs> I managed to get that leaf blade off, and he didn't want to spend his second shield, so uh, we're going to see what comes out next. We have the frost lass, and I managed to fire off that leaf blade, um, so if this leaf blade hits, then uh, it will probably put it within range of Wigglytuff KOing. But he does use the shield, and now he's got a whole bunch of energy. That, that is how you use your farm down. That is the perfect opportunity to use a farm down. Uh, that thing has so much energy now, and I don't have any shields left. Perfect. This thing is going to wreak havoc. No matter which Pokemon I bring in here. I'm not even going to be able to charm this thing down, because it's just going to have another avalanche ready. Interestingly, it just goes for the switch out. Um, goes for the sand tomb, which I'm happy to tank. So I'm building up energy here, because I need to... Uh, like, I know that, uh, that, that Frostlass has an avalanche ready and I need to be able to I, I need to force it to burn that energy um, th and <laughs> this is this is very important because thankfully for me I recognized that uh, if I give that frostlass a chance to farm this Venusaur down that will make it even harder to beat it with the Wigglytuff so I needed to get as close to Frenzy Plant as I was willing to dare, uh, as in uh, as close to two frenzy plants as I was willing to dare, to force him to use that energy that it had built up, and so that presumably would be able to give the Wigglytuff enough time to charm it down before it can get to another charge move. <laughs> Bit of lag, but we do get to that second frenzy plant. First Frenzy Plant KOs this, and uh, the second one, uh, the the sec second one never gets out because the Avalanche comes in. And can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? No, it's it just had that much energy. Um, I still think we we played that the right way at the end. It was exactly what we needed to do, make it burn its energy. But uh, it just had so much energy because of that farm down of the Gallade earlier in the battle. So very well played, and that is two nil. To scientist E. So here's battle number three, and we've got Gallade versus Machamp. Good start for us. Um, so switching straight out to the Stunfisk, and this team that I brought, again, just no coverage for Stunfisk. Why did I do that? I did it in the first battle, and I've done it in this uh, third battle here. Toxicroak is fine here. Like, what's wrong with bringing Toxicroak? It doesn't have anything really to worry about. Like, it's those uh, counters are neutral against the Articuno. The... I don't know. The, yeah, like, I think it beats the Machamp. Let's see if it beats the Machamp. Yeah, I mean, uh, in, that's the zero shields. Um, yeah, look at that, those shield situations. Um, Machamp's only winning the zero one and the zero two shields. Tox is winning everything else. So, Tox would have been fine to bring here. I don't know why I left it. Uh, because I didn't understand the meta well enough, I think, is the, is the answer to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... Dumb decision, and it sets me up for a very hard time in this battle. So, I go for the close combat. 
and get the shield, so now I'm one shield up. Um, but that is definitely going to change because that earthquake's going to come uh, with the double debuffed defense. Um, even a rock slide is going to be very, very painful. So probably the best thing for me to do here is maybe switch out to the Venusaur. Although earthquake here still going to be just super painful. And <laughs> here I do switch out to. The Veen, I obviously did it a little bit later than I say here, because I'm trying to catch that charge move, and uh, Scientist E has been very good during this whole set at uh, firing the right charge moves at the right time. I, I was not good at predicting when to shield and when not to. And so I go for this shield, hoping that I can get to the Frenzy Plant, and I do, so this should KO. Oh, just barely, but the Vine Whip uh, saves that. So, uh, let's see, what was the, the first Pokemon? It was the Frostlass, so again, Frostlass can build up energy here, and I don't have shields, so that is uh, something we can absolutely take into our Nightfall Cup battles, is getting Frostlass energy in a no-shield situation. It's going to be such a good closer. That was an extra three powder snows that it threw. And I don't think it's thrown a charge move yet, so it's got a, a lot of energy built up. Look at this, I'm about to get I'm about to get nuked by a shadow ball because I've got the energy lead. And I also had that glade in the back. That's gonna get one shot by a shadow ball as well, so really I'm in a, just a world of trouble. And he and he catches the uh, the the leaf blade. I, <laughs> this is funny, because I'm like, how, how does, how does a, uh, how much does a Leaf Blade do to a, a Frostlass there? So Leaf Blade does 40% damage, that's, that's good, that's, that's a solid, solid punch there. Um, that Frostlass had there. Um, yeah, so the Leaf Blade wouldn't have KO'd, would have put it in range of maybe one or two more confusions, but it was gonna get to the Shadow Ball first. However, I had to throw that Leaf Blade then, because I knew it was, you know, within one or so Powder Snows from getting to a Shadow Ball. So, I knew that he was a very good chance of switching out to, to try and catch this Leaf Blade, um, but I had to throw it straight away anyway. And sure enough, he does. So now, when that happens, I... Try and time it without, because because uh, this meta's still pretty new to me. I I'm not sure, kind of how much damage confusion does, how much damage leaf blade does. So I try and undercharge it to try and enable me to get enough energy to um to to have the leaf blade ready for when Frostlass comes back in. Um, let's just double check. Um, yeah, so 134 attack versus 120, I'm gonna win CMP. So, if I can have that Leaf Blade ready, then that will enable me to get the win off of Frostlass. So I try for the Undercharge. It does still a fair chunk. Let's see, one, two, and, oh, it's not quite enough. Not quite enough. So that a champ gets to the Cross Drop, which is enough, and... Uh, so, interestingly, interestingly, um, if I hadn't undercharged, I think I would have been able to KO the Machamp before it got to the cross drop. But then, I will have only had two Leaf Blades, and I would not have been able to get to a, that, that Leaf Blade against that Frostlass coming back in. Let's give me a hit a bit. So 
So one, two, and I needed that third one. But I didn't get it, so that Macham comes in. So yeah, ne needed the Tox. Uh, the, the main lesson is uh, the, the, the benefit of Frostlass with no shields and an energy lead. Just mwah, chest kiss. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you liked the videos, uh, please share it with a friend, comment, and subscribe. Make sure the notifications are turned on so you are notified when the next video pops up because uh, the more traction these videos get, the more motivation there is to keep on doing them. <laughs> um, and uh, join us on uh, Twitch, Discord, and Twitter, and I will see you in the next video.